All right, back again, Luke here. And uh, I wanted to go over this Famicom box here a little bit more for you guys. Uh, I found something really cool that uh, a lot of you guys who have these or who are thinking about getting these uh, might be in very interested in. I was able to get the case off of this, and what I used is uh, a socket wrench, which was actually uh, an idea from another YouTuber, which is a great idea. It took a, a bit of wrenching to get this thing off, but I was able to get uh, to the inside of this. And to take a look at the inside of this Famicom box, if you look at the back here, the uh, controllers are actually plugged into controller ports. Just like the regular Super Famicom down there. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, they are regular controllers. Uh, so you can replace these if the controllers are cut off. That's not the coolest part. The coolest part that I found out was this here. Now I removed these uh, four screws and I took this top piece off, but what I noticed here uh, right off the bat was two uh, two silver uh, dots which usually means a battery and sure enough there's a battery on it. Now what I did is I went down to the store and uh, I yanked the old battery off, I pried it off and uh, I wish I had a battery case for this because I would love to put a battery case on it but instead what I did is I bought a new battery this is a uh, CR2032 uh, uh, regular coin battery that you would find in most uh, video game machines and I soldered that in with the, uh, uh, the old uh, prongs that were on it and by doing that it changed a lot of things on this Famicom box this thing is really really awesome it uh, changes the intro, changes the uh, option mode, uh, changes a lot of things on here. So I figured I'll put this back together here. I'll turn it on and let you see what I mean. Let's kill the lights here. And there's going to be some scrolling lines. It's going to take a few minutes for the intro to uh, come on here and for the system to boot up. But uh, by changing around one battery, it actually changes the intro, it changes the options menu, it changes uh, to allow you to see demos of the games, allows you to change um, the, uh, what is it, uh, you can test the games for two minutes and play the games for two minutes for free. It's just really, really cool. This is something that I just figured out. I am really impressed. Check out this intro. This is the new intro with a battery, okay? A battery, only a battery changed this. And then it'll come into the game screen here and it says uh, at the bottom, press the controller button. And now, what it's doing is you can see here, it says Super Mario Brothers and then it's uh, the demonstration mode up at the top and I didn't press anything just let the game go through and it goes through a demo mode and down at the bottom it says press the controller uh, press the button on the controller and it'll go through all the different games it'll keep uh, going through intro mode and uh, it'll show you just you know these different intros for the games it is pretty killer now uh, there's some black lines that are running through it but now it's reset itself. Back to the beginning again. And I'll show you an intro for a different game. This is one of the cool features that is on this. Uh, not to mention the fact that you can now save games just by changing that uh, coin out, that uh, coin battery out. So here it'll go through and it'll choose a different game. We'll let it choose one more game and then I'll show you uh, what other options open up. So once again it says demonstration mode or demonstration chew. This is something that it will not do without that battery replaced. Now there is one downside to this and that is that uh, the key now has to be turned to on. And unfortunately, I don't have the key, so I'm going to have to rig something up. Uh, maybe I'll take that unit out and see if I can put in a switch instead, where I can change it to on and off. But as you can see, it is running through demo modes, which is super awesome. So let's, uh, let's start this up here. Hit the start button. I'll show you something pretty cool here. 
All right, this is all the same as before, but let's say, let's just go into Super Mario Kart. And if you remember some of my other videos, it gave you instructions from one to four, but five was a blank. Now, if you look at number five, it says, Tameshi ni asobu, and it says murio, which means try the game out for free. So, if we press this, we can try the game for free. And it'll say uh, at the top here, it says that this is in uh, kind of free mode. And it says down at the bottom, in white letters, if it comes back up, let me start it up, it says basically two minutes. So you have two minutes to try out this game for free. And if you like it, then uh, this is the point where you can actually buy it. Now, uh, fortunately, you can play the demo here without the key being turned on. But uh, unfortunately, you can't play the, uh, the real game without the, uh, the key being turned on. And I'll show you here in a second. This will probably take like two minutes. I can't do this with one hand. And I should have uh, this thing on a tripod, but I just got this thing all done up here. It was just something that I decided to do on a whim. really wanted to see what the inside of this thing looked like and uh, decided to go for it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through this in two minutes. <laughs> One-handed driving. <laughs> this is hard. Ah, my fingers are starting to kill me. At the bottom, there should be something that comes up. As you can see, it says uh, 27 seconds remaining. And it counts it down, if you can see down there. I'll uh, just kind of stay in this corner, I guess. This is all done just by that uh, change with the battery. Super, super awesome. Eight seconds, seven. Once the timer runs out, it will uh, jump back into the main menu and no more time. So, here we go back to the main menu. Now, if I want to play the original game, this is the new warning that comes up. Now it says uh, at the top, turn the key to the on position to play the game. And uh, it says in the front, there's the, uh, the switch right there. Turn it to on and then uh, press the A button. But, unfortunately, I don't have the key for this lock. So, that's this lock down here. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to try and rig something <laughs> to try and get this thing to play. So, it's kind of a cool thing that it's uh, gone into this now. It's got demo. It's got an original intro now. Um, it's got uh, a chance to play the game for free. Uh, it comes up with a new uh, kind of um, screen here. But the downside is now I can't play it unless I click that thing to on. So I'll see what we can do about uh, rigging that up. But just figured I'd show you guys something cool here about these Famicom boxes. This is something that uh, I just figured out. And there's not a lot of information on these at all. Probably no information on this at, at all, at least as far as I know. But uh, this will definitely help you guys out if you're thinking about getting one of these Famicom boxes, or Super Famicom boxes. Just changing that uh, one battery has unlocked a lot of different things, which is really cool. But yeah, I just want to show you guys this, kind of a bit of a quick video here. And uh, yeah, kind of off the cuff again, but thought it might be kind of uh, interesting for you. Uh, I know it was definitely interesting for me to figure this out and get this going. But uh, yeah. That's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching.